Hey guys, it's Jared from Mopar Insiders, and in this video, we're going to talk about the new upcoming GME T6 twin turbocharged inline six engine. So, about two and a half years ago, we did a video on this engine with the information that we knew at the time. Over the last couple of weeks, that video has absolutely blown up since Jeep accidentally leaked the engine on the Grand Wagoneer build in price. So, in this video, we're going to talk about some updated information and what we now know about the GME T6. So talking first about the GME T6, codename Hurricane, high output version of the engine. This is the engine that's going to debut later this month in the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. So we know it's a three liter inline six twin turbocharged engine with an aluminum block and an aluminum cylinder head. It's direct injection, does use a timing chain, not a timing belt, and it is an interference engine as well. This engine runs variable cam timing on both the intake and exhaust cam. And unlike the patent that uh, was found just a few weeks ago, the turbocharger is not part of the head on the GME T6, but it does actually bolt directly to the head. And of course, we're talking about the high output, so this does have two turbochargers. So this engine will make up to 26 PSI of boost, runs three knock sensors, and will have a nine and a half to one compression ratio. It has a red line of 6,100 RPM, an air charge cooler mounted on the passenger side of the engine, and we're told it will develop 507 horsepower in the Grand Wagoneer. We don't know what the torque numbers are yet, but we are told that it will make peak torque before 2,350 RPM. So we expect that version of the engine to debut later this month, likely in the Grand Wagoneer L, long version of the Grand Wagoneer at the New York Auto Show. Now there's also going to be a standard output version of this engine debuting for the 2024 model year. We probably won't see it yet for a couple months, probably around the end of the year, if not early next year. We know it's going to develop over 400 horsepower, over 450 pound-feet of torque, it will have 22 PSI of boost and a higher compression ratio than the high output. It will be at 10.4 to one. And the standard output version of this engine will be able to run on regular fuel, although premium will be recommended. I expect that we're going to see the standard output version in the Grand Cherokee, the Ram 1500, uh, probably the new Charger Challenger when they debut as well. So that's going to do it for this quick video on the upcoming inline six engine. If you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see this engine put into. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.